Okay, hello, welcome back. We are uh, back in Rapture. Uh, this is Bioshock 2. And I'm going to let Andrew Ryan uh, introduce this uh, particular topic. And here we go. I'm told that the people grow tense and isolated in the absence of the sun. Now they clamor for a psychiatrist. Do they miss the state censor, I wonder? Wartime seizure of private assets? Or the Cheka police vanishing them in the night? Regardless, this lamb woman is said to be the foremost practitioner in her field. Fine. If she can quiet the rattling of the Great Chain's weakest links, I will leave her to it. Okay, so the interesting thing about this statement that he makes, and I'm sure... Uh, those of you who have played these games have uh, spotted it immediately, is his, uh, the middle paragraph there where he says, Do they miss the state censor? Wartime seizure of private assets? Or uh, vanishing, being vanished into the night? Um, now, what makes this so interesting is that um, he did, Andrew Ryan has done all of those. Those three things have been done by Andrew Ryan. Um, Sophia Lamb was um, censored by him and she was also vanished into the night and uh, he did uh, seize the private assets of people um, in a state where he was essentially at war with someone else it's mentioned in the uh, first game and it's it raises a topic of um, most people say hypocrisy I would say it's more of a double standard it's okay if I do this, but it's not okay if other people do this. And this is uh, something that just, speaking of people in general, is something that we uh, really have to watch out for and to worry about it. Um, we're seeing a lot of that in the, in the form of uh, censor, censoring and censorship nowadays. Um, at uh, universities last couple years, um, people who... Uh, there have been actual riots and damage to property and even damage to other people um, just because uh, the people doing the rioting have not agreed with the uh, views of, uh, of an invited speaker. Um, and it's not as if the, the invited speaker have been uh, saying things along the lines of, oh, let's, let's just kill all children or something like that. That would be horrible. But more it's uh, ideological differences that they have with them, and instead of talking it out, or even just ignoring him because you don't agree with him, they uh, violently shut him down and essentially censor him. And yet, uh, these are the same people who would be violently opposed to uh, uh, anything that they want or that they like being censored. And, and it is, you know, very much a problem that humanity always ha has seemed to have this problem, that once they get uh, into a position of authority, even though that they pretty much went there because they didn't agree with the what the previous authority was doing, they essentially do the exact same things that has been done before. And you know, it, it's very hard to break this chain and break this link. Um, historically speaking, um, Mary Queen of Scots didn't really do anything that hadn't been done before. And indeed, the people fully expect her to do it, but. Um, she essentially, you know, burned the heretics, the people whose religion she doesn't agree with. Well, the people who um, were not of her religion fully supported this burning, but they felt that she was burning the wrong people. And it was done essentially to save people's soul. And it wasn't until uh, her sister Elizabeth came to the throne that there was essentially a revolution in this thought, and it stopped. And that's what it takes, is something to, somebody to recognize that this is not a good thing, and to stop it. Like I said, like I said, Andrew Ryan came here to avoid these things and he ends up doing all the things he lists there and much worse. And, you know, he wasn't really a good person, but he had intentions that well, he mm, I don't want to use the word good, but yeah, to, for all intents and purposes, his intentions were good. He wanted to create a paradise. Now, while it's a paradise I wouldn't want to live in or agree with, it's what he was striving to do and to get away from things like the state censor or seizure of private assets or people vanishing into the night. And 
he just brought all of that with him and made it far worse. So yeah, I can I think the the takeaway here is to just be aware uh, of this uh, double standard that there exists a double standard and strive to avoid the double standard of it. Strive to strive to avoid censoring other people just because you don't agree with them. Try you know avoid you know doing the things that you hate other people for doing. Um, I'm using censorship mainly because odds are you won't be in a position where you will have to seize private assets or vanish people into the night. But if you are, don't do that either. Just find, basically have a revolution of, of thought. And instead of, you know, doing what your predecessor had done and you not realizing that's what you're doing, s analyze what you're doing, study it, and do better. Anyway, uh, this one doesn't have very much in the way of action. I, I have tried to make this video a couple times, and as it turns out, I get too distracted by people shooting <laughs> at me uh, this evening, so I did it this way. I hope you like it. I hope you can take a, yeah, uh, well, take a lesson from it, and yeah, like and subscribe if you liked it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.